Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be kind of explaining. Oh, I just kicked my tripod. Sorry. I'm going to be. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to be explaining how to make a uh, DIY power distribution block with a negative switch slash trigger. As you can see, here's it laid all out: chassis ground, power distribution block, relay, bus bar, negative trigger. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is going to be my attempt on how to explain a power distribution block with a negative trigger or a negative switch. So let me get my little pointer. And this is kind of the way I'm going to be routing it. You see, I got a battery. Right now, I have it char charging on a trickle charge. I got my power distribution block. I got my relay, my bus bar, my switch so that's going to be in the cabin. And then this right here represents chassis ground. So if you can see, the red wire I have everything. Red means power, black means ground. So kind of color coded everything. So I have power coming from the battery to the power distribution block, inline fuse, and then power going to the bottom of the relay. And if you're wondering, what number that is. I'm going to try to see if I can get it here and focus for you guys. Come on. Sorry, let me just try to see if I can focus. There we go. There we go. So the bottom part of the fuse, it's number 30. So the bottom one is number 30. So that's going to be power coming from the block through the uh, through the fuse down to the bottom and then power going out it's going to be the very top one which is going to be represented by the blue line right here or the bump sorry not line but the blue cable coming down to my distribution block and if you look again that is number 87 so when you're doing a negative trigger um, you have to make sure that power 86, I'm sorry, line 86. So that's going to be the one on the left right here where I'm pointing at with my finger. That also has to go to power. So as you can see, that's going to be represented by the white. Goes to the same power distribution block as the bottom one. And that's to make sure that the fuse can switch on and off. And then the far right side, that is going to be pin number. 85, as you can see right there on the right. 85 goes to the bus bar right here also. And that goes to my trigger. And at the top of here, I do have this routed to ground. So you can see that I have routed to the ground. Chassis ground is routed to ground. That's what all these are for. <clears throat> this represents gonna be, represent my light bar that's gonna be in the front of my truck, which is gonna be an LED light bar. So I have power coming out to the LED bar and then the negative automatically goes to chassis ground anywhere on the chassis. So, and the reason why I wanted to do a negative switch is so I don't have all these other powers that I'm going to be pushing into my cab. So I'm doing six fuses, I'm sorry, six, um, six options to put in my vehicle. So it's going to be different lights, fans, as you can see here are the other fuses I'm going to be doing, Just making my block. Um, I'm only going to use five and the sixth one I'm actually going to be using as full power to a set of electric fans. But as you can see, that's negative, negative. And there you go. It turns it on. So power is going through with the negative switch. You can see the light clicks on. And if you want to see how I kind of routed the switch, let me see if I could zoom in on there. So that's a power ground and then that's ground. I don't know which one I want to watch. <laughs> but that's my attempt to kind of explain how 
I'm going to route this in my truck. Right now I'm making the template for my power distribution location which is going to be going on the opposite side of the battery <clears throat> next to my fuse blocks. Alright guys, this is just a recap on how I kind of designed the system. Um, it is a power distribution block with a negative trigger. Um, the issue that I was having and I couldn't find it online was how you wired your relays. So, take this for example. Um, so I knew this was negative, I knew that was power, and I knew that was power out, I just didn't know what to do with the white wire. So I ended up having to mess with it. Like I put these aside, like the white wires aside, and I was just trying to run it off these ones with the switch, wasn't working, and I finally figured it out that if you add the white wire and the red wire, in this case, because this is the color of these um, relays, it would work this relay and the switch, because it was getting constant power. So, and you're probably wondering why I do a negative switch um, power distribution block. Well, like I said before, like this, I'm gonna mount next to the battery. So I'm gonna have, you know, the power distribution block. I do have an inline fuse going to the power. So all my power is gonna be in the engine compartment. All my switches, which are gonna be negative, are gonna be in the cab. Just fire safety, I guess. I figured, you know, that's cool. Running one wire in, run that to another common ground, and I don't have to, I don't have to run two additional wires in. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. So, so yeah, so next step would be me actually building it. Uh, like I said, I made my template already, so that's that. These I ended up buying on Amazon, which are the four pin relays. As you can see, there's four little pins. It has a relay diagram on top there. There you guys, you can see it. Um, only issue with these is they're small or not small, but the cables aren't that long. It's like four or five inches. So I ended up buying more cables because <clears throat> I'm gonna solder this, extend them, and get them to fit. Because this is actually gonna have to, like here's my PR block and here are my, my relays, but this is upside down. These were like this. And in the cab where there might be a little bit of water, I was like, I don't want that. So I'm gonna have to flip them up like this put the power block beneath and run my fuse, my bus bar and all that. So yeah, so it's gonna be fun. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments. I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, remember, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching guys. Bye.